I kind of like that little guy. Yeah. Welcome, everyone. Paul here, Music Villa, <laughs> Bozeman, Montana, Quentin King. Uh, come down and check us out. We're, yeah. uh, we're right downtown Bozeman. And, uh, it's a beautiful day today. It's, it's, it is. Uh, it's, I think when I left the house, it was about 9 degrees. Uh, yeah. Mid-April. So beautiful yeah. Montana spring. Yep. Yep. It'll, uh, tomorrow will be 70. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, so today we're checking out another one of these really cool little Eastman guitars. So we just did the, um, oh, what was it's it Kind of a dreadnought version. Kind of a dreadnought Slope version shoulder dreadnought. This, yep, yep. In a varnish finish. So mm -hmm. what this one is, they call it the E20. Double. Zero, zero, double. Double. SS. Double SS. SS. Slotted headstock, yep. short scale, yep. uh, v, v for varnish finish. And so it's the E20 double O yep. and then SS. V, v for varnish yep. and then dash for the for the color sunburst. For the sunburst, right. yeah. SB. So yep. it's yeah, that's a mouthful, ladies and gentlemen. It but is. But it's, it's a cool. Also it's it's you know obviously a little small body. It's a you know it's in that vibe of the. Um, you know the old parlors, the L double O's, the Martin double O's, the. Uh, I'm those. I'm I'm tracking dog hairs in. I got a dog that sheds everywhere. I'm like, All right. Well, don't hairs. get me on that guitar. No, I'm trying not no. to. But what's interesting about the varnish is that it shows yeah. fingerprints. Yep. You know, I like it because it does. It feels like it's already kind of worn in a little bit. It does. It does and, have um, like a, a worn in kind of look, and you can see this again. This yeah, is, is not for me. Worn. This is. There's a certain degree of, um, of, like aging, yeah. I guess you'd call it, and then. So back and sides on this one are Rosewood, rosewood. Indian Rosewood, yep. Yep. mahogany and neck, mahogany. Uh, Adirondack spruce. Right. Yep. And now, do they do any aging to their tops? Do you know? No, I don't. Okay, think so. so this is yep. you're gonna have to Not age this, this one, one yourself, yep. ladies and gentlemen. Just um, play it. Yeah, play it, or you know, spill a lot of whiskey and beer and blow cigar smoke into it. Yeah, and give you that genuine. The, yeah, aging. Yeah, the it's a neat little guitar. I like it. the Eastman stuff is good looking stuff it's it's not only good looking but it, it, it plays well now um, you know the neck I, probably standard I believe it's 1 11 16 and then is it's it kind of got smaller? that C shape kind of yeah I mean it's it's definitely not a V and it's definitely not like the low over right yeah uh, but it's still I really mean, comfortable it's not it's not deep uh, it's pretty thin so it's very comfortable yeah. And again, I'm I'm so susceptible to the power of suggestion. You tell me what it is, it's like, you know. I'm like, oh yeah, I feel that. But I think it is one eleven sixteen. It's not as wide as I would yeah, associate right. with you know some other right. types of slotted you know these yeah. small body parlors, which are almost like steel string classicals in in a way. Yeah. Not two inch full classical notes, right. but but, but larger, usually like, these we would be like one and three quarter, but it, this is a little thinner. It just plays yep. really well, and it's it's got that small body sound, you know. So it's yeah. not boomy; it's mid mid punchy, crisp right. on the highs. But it's very playable, and these small bodies are nice to wrap around, especially yep. again for finger style players. But but you could certainly pluck on it. Do whatever you want. And I think, like we mentioned with the the other Eastman uh, Dreadnought in mm -hmm. this. Pretty much the exact same series of features, right. only the different body body shape. Yep. Um, playability, the tone, they're they're very very yeah. very comparable to the other big makers that that you're yeah. familiar with at a substantially lower cost. Uh, you know, yeah. thousands and of dollars just... more, depending on you know what's going on up here. Yeah. Uh, but these are incredibly high quality guitars coming they from are. Eastman. They are great. Great guitars, great company mm -hmm. to deal with. Um, well, we'll move on. We'll let you yeah, uh, like do your thing. One. That is it. I'm going to say it one more time. That is the mm -hmm. E. Uh, help me out. Now I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> this is, ladies and gentlemen, you got to read it because there's It's like, morning it, here. It's early morning. It's, it, so, we're getting started yes. early. It's, this is the E20. E20. Double O. Yep. SS. Slide of headstock. Uh, v. V for varnish. Vintage. Vintage. Oh, yeah, varnish. And then... <laughs> SB for the sunburst, and again the big the key components here, uh, the upgrades as I consider them is really this Adirondack yeah. top and the varnish finish. And is, the varnish is really finish, a cool. That's yeah. a hand hand done finish, 
and a little bit of the aging. Cool inlays, great guitar, comes with a cool case. Yeah, no, it's it's yeah. it's a very, very quality instrument at a price that is far below what I would expect to pay if this was the Pepsi yeah. Challenge you covered this up. Yeah, um, it's very cool. I Check would it price out. it a couple thousand more than it is. Yeah, check it out, musicvilla.com. Thanks for watching.